Peely says, drop a like for five years of good luck, but the bad news is, if you don't drop a like, your worst week ever starts now. Don't risk it. So the 14.20 update just went live within Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 and with the addition of this, obviously a ton of content was already added into the game or the game's coding about what's upcoming and that's everything we're going to be going over basically in today's video ranging from the mythic boss that's just been implemented, the secret Wolverine skin, how we can unlock it considering all challenges are leaked and a ton of other free rewards to celebrate not only Fortnite's birthday but Fortnite x Rocket League as a new integrated collaboration. Before we dive into that however, if you think my dog is cute, this is Gus, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button because if, if you don't subscribe right now, once I've shown you my pug, that means you hate dogs. I'm just kidding, I don't want to guilt trip you guys, but obviously we're incredibly close to 1.9 million subscribers and we're trying to get 2 million by the end of the year, so if everybody subscribed right now out of the 70% that aren't, we'd be there in no time. Also, whilst you're at it, make sure to enter code friendly machine inside the Fortnite item shop as I'm going to be adding a ton of you guys who comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know who's using the code. I'll be hearting a ton of comments that also specify this. And with that said now, the first thing I want to mention is the fact that Epic Games recently have been emailing content creators like myself the patch notes for everything included within the update upon the servers going live again. And despite this being a cool list, I figured we'd go over it in reverse order considering a lot of things were announced on Fortnite's social media here before these patch notes rolled out or we knew definitely what was going to be included within today's Fortnite. 14.20 update. So firstly the Fortnite Llama Rama event starts September 26th as you can see in the patch notes and obviously this was announced last night on September 22nd as we had this trailer presented to us that I can't play the audio for on Fortnite's Twitter published at Fortnite Game and unlike any other collaboration event that we've expected to see perhaps with Fall Guys or any others that have actually happened not the Marvel collaboration being the entire basis or theme of this season it's a different way how we earn free rewards not just in Fortnite but Rocket League 2 to make sense of the partnership or collaboration on both sides of what's involved here, Rocket League and Fortnite themselves. Here are all the challenges on screen right now of what we'll need to accomplish in Rocket League I believe to earn not only rewards in that game but Fortnite too and feel free to pause the video to get a good glimpse of any of these considering Epic Games haven't published anything about this yet and I'm guessing they're only going to be revealed then in game or officially for the first time upon September 26th rolling around. But, in terms of the Fortnite rewards, what many of you may have clicked on this video for, there's a total of six, as you can probably see from reading what I put on screen in terms of the challenges, and here they all are right now. As you can see, we have two bat blings, a contrail, two stickers, and a music pack. FireMonkey also tweeted out the rewards we'll be able to earn in Rocket League if you are fans of this game or want to play it anyways, or just generally earn the free rewards and then perhaps get into playing the game for the first time ever. And as you can see, they're still Fortnite based, but will only be available these in Rocket League itself. And despite all of this going down for the Fortnite Llama Rama event, we have a live event happening at the main stage in Party Royale, a concert performed by the artist Slushy at 5pm Eastern Time on the day of which this collaboration or event happens in Fortnite or goes live September 26th as previously mentioned. But with that said, speaking of events, let's move on to our third birthday celebration within Fortnite Battle Royale for Fortnite Battle Royale's birthday instead of just save the world when they've previously celebrated this and all the free rewards you'll be able to earn. So for the Fortnite birthday event, obviously then allowing us once it's available or live in game to earn free rewards, we do not have an exact date of when this will be starting. As it states in the patch notes, Fortnite turns three special birthday themed plans are lined up this weekend to celebrate Fortnite's third birthday, more challenges to earn XP, new rewards and cake. With them stating it's going to be starting this weekend or all kicking off where we can earn the free rewards for completing all the challenges on screen right now also, I'm guessing this is going to be either updated into the game on Friday or Saturday. From also taking a look at these challenges we can clearly see that the second birthday celebration year rewards are on screen perhaps implying two considering data miners have included this as they are the exact challenges as last year dancing around birthday cakes and doing all other stuff of the sorts but on our brand new chapter 2 map we may be able to earn these previous second year birthday rewards but perhaps not the first year considering they're not on this list and these are the rewards I'm referring to for the first year on screen right now if you didn't know make sure to tune back in on the channel 
channel on September 26th being the Saturday of when I guess this would be updated into the game, as this is actually Fortnite Battle Royale's birthday despite just the game of Fortnite's birthday being on July 21st, as I'm going to have one of the quickest guides perhaps on all of the birthday cake locations that we'll need to dance around for one of these challenges to earn all the free rewards or ultimately the subtotal birthday cake back bling for year 3. So for the next topics I figured we'd go over two in one considering they're kind of short to mention about firstly starting out with the BTS concert in Party Royale and the cosmetics this will bring to the item shop. As it states in the patch notes about this, BTS will premiere a special Dynamite video on the 25th of September at 8pm ET. Keep eyes on our announcement blog for the latest news for content creators, see you there. And in celebration of this, I'm guessing for the 25th or 26th item shop rotation we're going to be seeing these BTS emails of which, if we buy both, we can get for a discounted price, so make sure if you're actually having your heart set on buying them both, that you're picking the bundle and not buying them both individually, as I don't think Epic Games will discount you the V-Bucks for making this mistake, even if it was on accident. For those wondering what those emotes look like, well here they are on screen right now as data miners have been able to pull them into the game early. And as for the new upcoming Marvel LTM called TakeOver, it states the following in the patch notes, obviously replacing Marvel's standoff that's currently in the game right now as a Marvel integrated LTM with it literally in the name, earn points by capturing and holding outposts in a new Marvel themed game mode, during your island domination, you'll start with a random primary superpower and see comets in the sky dropping more powers of all types to build your perfect loadout. So that definitely sounds interesting, hopefully we'll get more superhero powers than what skins are currently in the game or perhaps mythic bosses in our normal modes of Fortnite or their abilities anyways and speaking of mythic bosses, Let's now finally move on to what everybody probably clicked on this video for, the Wolverine boss and the Wolverine skin, how to unlock it in itself considering all challenges have already been leaked. So in terms of Wolverine in game right now and his arrival anyways, he's only in mythic boss form as of today when the 14.20 update has gone live on September 23rd. Don't worry though, considering every Thursday that rolls around, we get challenges for these secret skins, not just Wolverine this season, but also Aquaman and Deadpool in the prior two. And that means on September 24th, or even at the time of you watching this video now, a day after it's gone live, we'll be able to eliminate Wolverine the mythic boss himself, with the recommendation of four players to do this, considering it's actually kind of hard that then unlocks us not only the Wolverine skin, but these other two free rewards also. Considering we've also read the patch notes out for literally everything else included in today's update, well, we have a section for Wolverine being the new mythic boss that I figured would only make sense also to include. Confront Weapon X deep in Weeping Woods, take him out, and shred through your opponents with the Wolverine Claw's mythic power. Like other bosses on the map, he won't go down without a fight, let us know what you think, and when they said he won't go down without a fight, they were not joking because, well, this clip in itself that Alier published to Twitter best describes this unique scenario or how hard he is to eliminate Wolverine the mythic boss in game. I've only just noticed now at the time of me making or recording this video that it states 8 days is when we can unlock Wolverine, his sticker and also this banner. This means then it will be September 24th and I will have put a disclaimer on screen basically exclaiming the fact that it will be October 1st considering there's only 30 days in September and despite me slipping up on that, don't worry Wolverine is a mythic boss currently in the game right now as of the 14.20 update going live on September 23rd today and the reason I felt I need to definitely clear that up is because not only are people finding it hard to actually, you know, eliminate him in himself as Alier published to Twitter. Once he shook him down, he just got back up and then tried eliminating him as the player. But many people are finding it hard 
to ultimately just find him, or even have him spawn in, in every game of Battle Royale they enter from landing at Weeping Woods, and basically just going around every vicinity section of this named location. If you persevere however, I'm guessing you'll find him sooner or later and be able to then use his mythic abilities in game of the Wolverine Claws. However now, the final honourable mention subject that I wanted to go over is something everybody's been so incredibly hyped about for the whole season the Midas Flopper, as it's the rarest thing we can catch out of the water currently in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4, so let's go over all the statistics and even gameplay of somebody who's already caught it. So unlike the mythic goldfish obviously being a one in a million catch, this has now been vaulted and replaced with a legendary fish, not the Vendetta Flopper, but the Midas Flopper. Despite this being just as rare as the Vendetta Flopper, obviously because of what it does upon consuming the fish once catching it, everybody's basing the hype around this, and ultimately, Midas is kinda hype anyways after being eaten by a shark and then ultimately turning into a swimming fish-like sea creature himself. And for those that don't know, with the new fishing book introduced, this is number 40. And now I'm gonna leave you guys anyways, with just a clip of Kados, another British YouTuber, catching this, so he'll be linked to all his socials in the video description down below, make sure to check him out on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, all other things of the sort, because he's literally one of the very first people in the world to catch this, and before you leave today's video, make sure you slap a like on it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and without any further ado, let's roll that clip. Yo! I just got it! Oh my days! Midas Flopper! Yo, so my theory was, guys, if you are watching this right now, oh my days, we have the Midas Flopper. I searched the entire Slurpy Swamp, and then I was like, no way, bro. Like, listen. It makes sense if it's around the authority. It said, it, to be fair, it says found anywhere, but it just, it just so happens that I found it at the authority. So let me just, uh, show you what it says. It says, um, eat me, I'll give you health. Apparently, according to leakers, this thing turns your entire inventory gold or something. All right, guys. So, hey, you can see right now, no troll. Like, this is fully legit. And I've got a ton of random, like, gray and green weapons. So, if I eat this, does it turn... Wait, what? Bro, what? Hang on. Is my game bugged? I have no idea what's going on. What if, what if I pick up a weapon... Okay, oh, oh my days. So it turned pretty much all my weapons gold. I think that was bugged out. Um, and also it gave me health. So, hey, there we go. I think that's the world's first Midas flopper. There you guys go. I have now completed the entire fishing book. Bang, easy stuff. Let's get it.